Hi, I'm Greg Brown. I'm David Ivey, and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series we're bringing you about safety products and how to use them. This week, we have Bethany Hessing with our marketing department with the question. The question for this week is, why do I need a rescue plan and how do I prepare one? Good. Uh, the, the simple way is, number one, you should have a rescue plan because it's safe, and number two, OSHA requires you to have one. Uh, so it is OSHA 1910.268 and 9 you're interested in, in, uh, in looking that up online. So OSHA requires you have a written rescue plan. So you have to have your workers trained on this rescue plan and make sure it's prompt and all the equipment used, um, everybody's trained on those as well. Um, typically, if you say um, Johnny Falls, you don't want to say that the fire department should come get him down in 45 minutes to an hour because if he's hanging there a prolonged amount of time, he can have permanent uh, damage or maybe death from hanging there like that. Yeah, and the, the opinions kind of vary. You know, I'm not a medical expert, uh, but what I can say is that I wouldn't want to be suspended uh, in the air after a fall. You know, there are certain things that can happen to you on the way down from a fall, even in the best year. Uh, you know, you can hit lower levels and, and, and you do the best you can, but the reality is that you can have, you can have injuries on the way down, you can have injuries as a result of the fall. Uh, so we look at the hierarchy of where you should be and in fall arrest is third or fourth down. You know, you should certainly take the hazard out before you, before you explore the option of, of having the fall and having it arrested. So there aren't hazards uh, in, in every situation but there are in this. And so your plan to be complete should have a rescue involved. And, and so just wearing your safety gear and, and you know, experiencing a fall, that's not enough. You have to be able to get back to the ground. You have to be able to seek uh, medical attention. And that's why OSHA puts this in the language. It really allows the employer to determine what that is, but you do have to have one ready and people should know it and be part of their training.